We're talking about some really cool events coming up here on Saturday. So That's with right. me is Ruth and go ahead and introduce yourself. I totally Phyllis, Phyllis, Phyllis Hubbard. I know I didn't want to say it wrong. <laughs> we have so much going on today. I've been called so Billy much... Willie, you know. <laughs> Phyllis. <laughs> there we go. Phyllis and Ruby. Yes, and yes. we have a lot to talk about we today, do. ladies. Absolutely. Let's start with why you're here. We have an event coming up on Saturday. Ruth, tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. It is the uh, New Mexico Black History Month um, mm -hmm. STEM Festival and work it out days. So it's really combining engineering, which is what I love because I was <coughs> trained as an engineer, mm -hmm. have switched to holistic nutrition. Okay. We're combining the two, talk about healthy eating as well yeah. throughout that day, along with a lot of fun events for kids and adults. So it's kind of like engineering and nutrition? Kind of yes, you know, uh, back in 2007, I got yeah. thyroid cancer. Oh. I started researching how to that. cure naturally and came up on plant-based foods and I was able to cure my cancer with just changing my diet. Wow. And so that changed my career to what I do now, teaching yeah. people how to live healthy, how to eat healthy, and make it taste really good. That That is awesome. So you sure. can, I guess from your story, this has some big impacts on your Absolutely. life. Absolutely, it had a huge impact. It changed kind of the mm -hmm. course of, of my career. Okay, and we're making a salad we this are. morning. Is it, this, this is where we're gonna start, correct? Yes, yes, we are making a cranberry kale uh, quinoa salad. So we're having a bunch of superfoods because kale is a superfood. Okay. It looks like this. Um, oh, and then when like you cook beans. it, yeah, and you just cook it for about 15 minutes in water, just like you would rice. Okay. All and right. this is the quinoa? This is the quinoa. quinoa. So that's the only okay. part that's cooked. And once it's cooked, it looks just like this. Oh, nice and fluffy. Okay. And you can use it in a lot of different recipes to make it sweet or savory. Yeah. Um, and then we're just putting all these fun ingredients together, like um, celery which is really great. Okay. Um, green onion, which is perfect for this. Yeah. A lot of antioxidants in that. And then we're adding some things that sweeten it up a little bit. Dried cranberries, um, a little raisins, and then some crunchy stuff like our um, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. That to me is the best part of the salad. All yeah. The, <laughs> the little stuff that and goes on top of the And some flavor. <laughs> we're using some uh, red wine vinegar. Okay. And a little olive oil. Ooh. And then we just mix that all together. Um, and it's a really easy salad to make, yeah. and then it looks just like that. This is the final product <laughs> that is, up here. And you're welcome to taste this. Oh, okay. I think I'm, I might. It's not. It's really good. And you said it is superfoods. Kind of describe Basically, that for me. Basically, that means that they have extra boost of nutrition. So kale okay. is really popular now because it has so it's nutrient mm. dense. It's mm. got a ton of nutrients in it. Quinoa is like a complete protein for people who are going to plant based and don't know where they're going to get their yeah. protein. That's one of the things, as well as okay. the sunflower seeds. It's, it's got a lot it's of protein good. in it. Thank you. <laughs> and it's really easy to make, so it's not mm -hmm. complicated. So that's what I do. I teach people on my my cooking show called the Veggie Chess. I said, we are we make healthy food easy and delicious. Yeah, so, it is really is good. It has a lot of flavor. You wouldn't exactly. think of a salad as being really flavor intensive, but I think the combination of the dressing and even the cranberries mm -hmm. in here. That's the sweet and savory tasty. and it's very filling. It's like, yeah. you could just eat this as a meal because it's got everything you need in it. Yeah, it, I know. I'm just going to keep going on this. <laughs> Phyllis, tell us what we're making over here. <laughs> we are going to be making a raw chocolate pudding. Okay. Yes, and so um, just like Ruby, I had my, my own health issue. I had COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, for 27 years. And I took medication for it for mm -hmm. 27 years. Wow. And I get sicker and, you know. Yeah, not good. Heavier. I mean, it was horrible. I practice an East Indian form of medicine called Ayurveda, and in three months, no more COPD. Gone. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. How did, okay, so tell me more about that. Well, one of the first things I had to do was let go of dairy. Oh. And I thought, but I like, you know, yeah, stuff that has dairy in it. <laughs> I was a cheese -aholic, oh, right. you know, I was a cheese connoisseur, actually. <laughs> and I thought, well, how am I going to do that, mm -hmm. right? And so I started thinking about how I would help people, you know, transition transition their diet yeah. and so I teach people how to get healthy without drugs or surgery and I use a very strategic approach my business is called radiant health strategies right okay. so I teach people how to get healthy without drugs and without surgery okay and so when I look at you know different superfoods I try to figure out you know how can I combine those superfoods to make something delicious so yeah. we have um, coconut milk mm -hmm. which is alkaline and easier for your body to digest right okay. so that's going to re be replacing the mm -hmm. milk right we have sea salt and actually we're going to be doing some samples we'll talk about samples at the stem fest and one of them is coming from Redmond real salt so that's okay. that's real salt and then we have some cardamom and cardamom is an amazing digestive aid yeah. and it adds really interesting flavor when you put it together with chocolate it's just like mm -hmm. ooh la la right yeah. um, raw <laughs> cacao is full of fiber and, and it has iron 
iron and magnesium as well, and you have goji berries, which is also, a I mean, this is a, a, a it's complete, another super yeah. food it's dish. a super food, okay. super food, yeah. super food dish. <laughs> yeah. Dates are a way of sweetening foods, and the beauty of dates is that, you know, yeah. with, with dates, um, your body is able to digest it, and it's full of vitamins and minerals and so forth, and so we're going to use avocados as our filler, our thickener, right? Mm -hmm. And avocados, of course, are, are an amazing superfood as well. So yeah, there yeah. is nothing here that is bad for you. Everything is amazing and tastes great. So what it we're going to do is good. just throw everything into the blender. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And I wait till the last minute to do this just because avocados get, um, <laughs> you know, kind of brown when yeah. you, you know. And we're kind of running out of time here. I have exactly. about 30 seconds left. Right, so is right. that what you put in <laughs> so here? So what you do is you put everything in here <laughs> okay. and then you blend it up and then we're good to it's, go. I mean, it sounds really good. And like, like we were talking about, it's a hard transition to get mm -hmm. into that healthy lifestyle, right, but it's right. not impossible. It's so. not. Right, right. We'll have actually have more details on our website about yeah. the event that yeah. you guys have on Absolutely. Saturday. You can see it there on your screen 8 30 to 3 definitely don't want to miss this it's one you're going to want to go to and you will uh, thank yourself later for it we'll have more information there on our website here at we'll be right back